How does one locate and recognize their soulmate? Well, first of all, you know, you can just meet somebody this lifetime and that person can evolve into your soulmate. You can evolve into your soulmate. You know, there's not no one designated person that's on this planet just for you. It's not. That's unrealistic and retarded to think that. So when you when you're if you want to look at your astrology chart, you know, and you're looking for somebody that's the most compatible to help you fulfill your soul's purpose within this incarnation, you look to your seventh house, which would be the the house cusp on the right hand side, which which would be akin to the west. Um your seventh house cusp, for example, if you have uh Capricorn on your seventh house cusp. You would look to the placement of the ruler of the seventh house. The ruler of Capricorn would be Saturn. Saturn, say, is placed in the third house. So your soulmate might be somebody that you grew up with in the, in the neighborhood, you know, or or not your necessarily your soulmate, but somebody who's, you know, compatible with your soul's energy. Um, Somebody that grew up with you in your, your earlier childhood, um, right in the neighborhood or somebody that one of your siblings um connect you to or somebody that you you meet through a pen pal thing things that are ruled by the third house um fire soulmates and things like that again as i said you can meet somebody this lifetime and you and that person have a a strong commitment to helping each other grow and supplementing each other's peace of mind and happiness and and just going through the journey together, you know, that'd be your soulmate. But, you know, like I said, it's not no one person that's right for you. It's, it's people that, you know, come into your life that you're willing, you're both willing to make things work, man. And that means compromising, sacrificing, communicating, you know what I'm saying, and growing and evolving together. Uh, there, there are, uh, as I said before, astrological implications that, um, tell you if, if you've had, you know, some type of past life connection or karmic connection to everybody, but to, to, to other people who you're in relationships with, you know, you want to look for the, uh, Saturn placement, Pluto placement, uh, North and South node. If they're making connections to like your sun, your moon, your Venus, your rising sign, then it's karmic connections. But just because there's a karmic connection don't mean that it's a good connection and that you should pursue that connection. Your soulmate is who you make it. When you find somebody, man, that, that you know, you love and care about and you're willing to make sacrifices for and compromises for and they're willing to do the same and you guys want to grow together. And, and invest in each other and improve each other. And, you know, you grow to the point where there's nothing that you would do to interfere with that person's peace of mind and happiness or cause them pain and suffering. Intentionally, that's your motherfucking soulmate.